What is up guys? It's Ash here. So today, we are going to feature a team that is recreated by Brady Smith, Brady Smith <laughs> and is built by Enrique Grimaldo who made top cut on the recent Knoxville Regionals. But before that, we have our question for the day. This is kind of uh, starting. This is the first question of the channel basically. So, for Ashenfield's question of the day, uh, with the announcement of Pokemon Legends ZA and the return of Megas, which one would you want to have its own Mega Evolution? Me personally, I would like to have a Mega Evolution of Dragonite because I think Dragonite uh, has it <laughs> coming for a very long time. Dragonite is one is the one of the I think it's the original dragon and he needs a mega or a regional variant or something. Anything actually. Anything basically. But we'll probably going to get like Dragon uh, Charizard Z. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we go back to this team and this team is more of on a defensive side, sort of. So you have Paragraph with the Armored Tail Road Spray, Dazzling Gleam, Hyper Voice, Trick Room and Protect, and Terra Fairy. Mostly to set up trick rooms, uh, go with hyper voices uh, and dazzling beams, and just basic, basically overall dealing some damage while protecting us from priority moves. And you know, you know, Farijaraf existing is the reason why uh, Urshifu Dark is in the top right now. Then you have Fluttermane with Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind, Dazzling Gleam, Tri Specs, and Terra Fairy. Again, there's really not no speed control, so Fluttermane with Icy Wind serves as a pseudo speed control. Then we have our two Redirectors, the Offensive one, Ogre Pawn with Water Absorb, the Wellspring variant, Avika Gel, Follow Me, Hornish Spiky Shield, Standard Ogre Pawn. We have Amungus with Terra Water, we've been seeing a lot since Rayleboom has been really scarce. Yeah, because it's not really that strong in this meta. <laughs> then you have Rocky Helmet, of course, Pollen Pops for Rage Powder and Clear Spawn. Then of course you have Incineroar with Flare Blitz, Snarl, Fake Out, Parting Shot, Standard Incineroar, Terra Fairy, and Interesting Terra, Citrus Mirror, and Intimidate, and lastly the Damage Dealer, Entei, Inner Focus, Clear Amulet, Terra Normal, Second for Extreme Speed Stop, Phantom, and Protect. Very interesting with Clear Amulet of course, and Inner Focus does not get dropped. Uh, the stats does not get dropped, and his stats basically uh, immune to parting shot, I guess, if I'm right. Uh, Ogre Pawn, Amungus, and Farijra protects. Incineroar cycles. Uh, Flutter main and Ente mostly damage, deal damage dealing. This is a very defensive core, and most of my worries relies on how we deal damage without Flutter main and Ente. But with the redirections and the disruptions, it could work. I mean, it's a top cut team, so why am I complaining? Yeah. Let's go and check this out and see how it goes. Rakush and Didi. Uh, Wims? Wait, what? What is this? What is this? Well, I could, I could lead it, Senator. Honestly. I mean, Incineroar Ogre Pawn is kind of a great lead here, if I'm being honest. Covers for Roxish. Uh, then it's Peachy, but I do want a Mungus. Or Ente. It's quite bulky. Do I bring Flutter? Bring flutter. I guess so. Uh, there's no benefit really. Ah, maybe a mongoose with fang, the fang stuff. Ah, no, no, Broxish with the fangs would, would be bad. I'm kind of conflicted on this one. It feels so wrong, yet it's so right. <laughs> That's that's what we feel, Dale. Can't find my flutter. 
Uh, we do have Broxish now. So, I mean, they could just follow me. And Snarl, I guess. If it, it's Strike Room. Ooh! Weak armor. Okay, I get it. Or weakness policy. Something like that. Ha! Huh. It's gonna be weakness policy or weak armor anyway. Uh, they get the speed. Speed drop. Uh, yeah. gonna be follow me again <laughs> oh, yeah I didn't realize the flip turn stuff because Broxish is fast it's, it's probably choice scarf Broxish so as long as I'm using follow me gonna get ready and this is not it's not choice scarf yeah it's choice scarf <laughs> what the hell Heat wave, alright. I mean, I'm peachy in here. I'm peachy in here. You can't flip third. Because if, if the water absorb heals, heals me now. This is so dumb. <laughs> Destiny Bond. Alright. Well, you're not getting KO'd. And, uh. Is that follow of me again? Man, this this is like the dumbest the dumbest shit ever. It's Scarf Broxish. Yeah, finally. Who's that? Oh, it's DB. All right. Gonna use expanding force now. I could do this now. Brockshire is literally useless at that. Part of the game. If I lose, this is on me. So fucking bad. Uh, I need to find Incineroar. Incineroar, Incineroar. They're gonna use Expanding Force. There's that. Yeah. They're gonna use Expanding Force. Yeah. Ivy got Joel KO. Send DD. And Snarl should be able to pick up. Well, Incineroar dies. But I mean, at this point. Then it misses. What the hell? <laughs> ah. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, it's Flutter. Will Flutter be able to survive? Uh, I don't know. Serious. Honestly, I don't know. But I could try. 
I mean, Ogre Point? Yeah, Ogre Point is faster. Is Ogre Point faster? We could still lose, honestly. Uh, I hope all kids are in general. Impish. Yeah, that's all. He can't touch me though. He can't touch the insane. He can't touch the insane roar. Insane roar? Eh. Uh. Yeah, Vikojo would hit. Yep. That leaves him with Broxish. Very, very low Broxish. Expanding force. Alright. But I mean, Ogre Pond has done its job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ogre Pond has done its job very beautifully, if I may say. Beautifully. Every time, every time I speak English, it's like I get my my tongue gets tied. It's tongue tied. What the. I would I could have just said tongue tied. Uh, can't find my incinerator picture. I'm gonna put him something red, something red, something red. Sorry. Where's my incinerator? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? In. I mean, Ogre Pond tanked it. That was so fun. Not so lazy. Ah, uh, Entei, Lando. Tando, Lando, Tando. Mongus. This is actually hard to deal with. Uh put Ogre Pawn. Maybe Incineroar. Just fake out stuff. Then uh Among Us isn't exactly someone. That you wanted to use here. I mean, I could, but what's what's good? Our oh, redirection if you get something. Yep. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm thinking of scheduling the flutter main and so dumb. Yeah, switching to Among Us. Senator isn't gonna do something against. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting so distracted by the fact that there are people partying. It's so loud. Ooh. Going to start clear smogging people. Nice. 
it's land though. Uh. I honestly just want the spore. Sporing land though. Oh dude, you fucker. <laughs> we have the same idea. What the hell? I think we have the same idea. <laughs> yeah, we have the same idea. Now, who do I want to get spored? Uh, there's, there's going to be a follow me for a spiky shield. I find the one. Uh, they have Entei. And Incineroar is like the most, in this, the most dispensable guy. As long as, like, Abungus exists, we're gonna touch <laughs> that land that was. And it might have been our down. Might could have been our downfall, honestly. Yep. Oh, dude. That was just sucker. Just was just a sucker. There's a spore. Yeah. Yeah, we might have lost this one. Honestly. Yeah, I don't think we have like the resources now. Cinnador dies now. This shit is too damn strong. What are we hoping for? Something along the lines of a critical icy wind and a critical ivy gotcha. <laughs> but dude's gonna tear a poison. <laughs> ah, dude. Yeah, we just lost. Gonna be saved by that. Yeah, well. <laughs> Uh, we survived the ordeal. But we still have Entei to contest at the back. If they go for Protect, yeah, it's gonna be a Rage Powder. Uh, it's hard. Ah, dude, that's a sliver. That's a sliver. That's a friggin' sliver, my guy. Oh, dude, what the hell? He hit both. Oh, I guess just extreme speed does. Could have been different. 
honestly yeah I feel like gotten the KO on the Among Us because we could probably get the KO on the Landers at that turn but Among Us is the king of surviving damn it dang it Yeah, would it be enough? Fine game though. Yeah, that could have been different if we just killed the Omongus there. Ugh, that sucks. He's mothering though. Brother Minchi, ah, uh, a two, two, two. This day and age, come on now. Ah, uh, damn it. And for each up, does it have? do you want to do with this guess I'll go over pawn and play among us and flutter yeah they would dare to bring that's probably rapid strike Uh, so it's gonna be like this. Yeah, I think it's fine. Someone's gonna Terra. Yeah. It's probably the Chiyu going to the water. Oh, it's Flutter. Interesting. Stellar Can Ogre Pawn survive this even? I know Entei could probably survive this Entei is faster than she Is it? Entei has like 100. Oh, it's faster than she It's gonna let speed That was bad. Shadow Ball. We survived. Ah! God damn it! It survived! It survived! Oh my god. Is it Sash? It's Sash. The guy friggin' survived! Yeah, that's a fair trade, you know. Entei for two months. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna take damage either way. It's not like far fetched. But now I know that that Chen Pao. Probably is life orb. Dude. That is friggin' awesome. Uh 
Uh... Uh, I don't want the Mongo scene here. Just to make sure we break the sash. Yeah, the goal is I hope I'm right, because if not... Spinner! Ah, oh, dude! That's a bummer. Spinner me. Oh, it's a little crash. Oh, I survived that. Now I'm gonna Rage Powder. Drive a good show, I don't know. That's... If he locks to extreme speed, then we win. But it all comes down to Ogre Pond surviving, honestly. Ugh, that hurts. So much fun. The mushroom is clutching for us. Like... It clutches for us so bad. Stream speed now. Ooh, okay. Now I can moon blast. Hey, Flutter. He's probably Scarf. We just need to hit one moon blast and it's over. Over pawn. It's over pawn. <laughs> nice. It was probably not Scarf. Because it should have gone extreme speed. Yeah, but we win. <laughs> Clutch. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, quick notes. And they clutch it today. Amungus is clutch today, but I have to add it. Uh, Ogre Pond, man. Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond Wellspring isn't exactly known as an offensive threat, but man, it, it got going at this in this feature. I've I be cudgeling anyone follow me the spiker shield to break the sash. Everything has been going right. And Amungus, Amungus clutching the sacred sword there. And they clutching the shadow ball. Well, that's amazing. That's like RNG wise. That's very good. You have three RNG gods, and you pair it in the center. They have like this one game where uh, they have Broxish, I think. They have Broxish and or Rouge, and this and the Broxish is flip turn a scarf. And here he's supposed to flip turn the armor rouge to get the weak armor and the weakness policy going. And Ogre Pond just kept using follow me and water absorb. <laughs> and just uh, Incinerator just keeps kept snarling. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah Ogre Pond is MVP. Yeah, Flutter Mean is nice. Flutter Mean is good. Uh, it gives the team an upshot of a speedy sweeper when all of its spawns are not exactly as fast. It's fast, it's like 252 speed. But 
Another main gives us more flexibility. Furniture up is good. I didn't actually get to use it because every feature I would see like an ogre pond well spring and then an urshifu and I would be like, yep, that's dark. Yep, that single strike. They're gonna wicked blow me out of a out of obliv to oblivion. So yeah. So that's gonna be it for today. That that's the team ID. You may use it if you want. And yeah, thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.